Que mi gente. Oh my god, que loco. Hold on, let me get that horn. Oh my god, that's that beautiful horn. I am happy today. You know why I'm happy? Because I actually missed this news for My Hero Academia Wants Justice. Um, I I looked at Bandai Namco UK's Twitter, and, and there it is. They, they throw the release date for Inasa. The funny thing is that the official handle for My Hero Wants Justice didn't throw the, re the release date. The official Bandai Namco US Twitter didn't release the release date, but Bandai Namco UK did. And that's why I missed the news. They tweeted this eight hours ago, bro. Eight hours ago. It says here, Chiketsu High School first year Inasa Joarashi. There you go, Joarashi, aka Gale Force, comes to My Hero Wants Justice on November 14th. And it says here, control the distance between you and your opponent with the power of the wind. Using his whirlwind, Inasa is an expert at long range attacks. You guys already know what this means, right? He's gonna have decent attacks from a uh, from across the map, but most of the damage will come from the combos and the stuff that comes with the combination of the combos and the long range attacks. Kind of like Todoroki, uh, Todoroki's combo finisher. Uh, you know, he has a combo finisher with the flames, uh, which he can do from across the map. That's what this character is gonna be like, and it's gonna be pretty dope. Uh, I'm, I'm actually very excited to play him because. I've been avoiding those mod videos like the plague. A lot of people have been telling me, yo, go watch the gameplay, but I don't. The reason why I don't do that is because I want to keep the reactions genuine to when I get the character and I try him out uh, for the first time on a video. Uh, that, that's the only reason why I don't watch the videos. Uh, and also, you know, just in case they, they might have not had the full thing uh, on the mods, right? Because the mods, what they do is they get the content that's already in the game, right? So... What what ended up happening with Endeavor was they were still working on the character model for Endeavor when the mods when the modded leaked footage came out. So I want to avoid all of that bullshit and do the official DLC. Now, just really quickly here, I'm not trying to waste too much of you guys' time. What I'm gonna do different for the content, right, for DLC is I'm not gonna choke you guys with so much content for the DLC. I'm gonna try to mix it up and use a variety of different characters. Uh, alongside the, you know, the showcase for Inasa, the live ranked for Inasa, me learning the character and whatnot. I'm going to have a variety of characters in between there. So you guys don't feel like you're just going to be watching a marathon of the DLC character over and over again. A lot of you guys press that, you know, you didn't like what I did with Endeavor. Okay. Because it was kind of like, okay, we get it. He's a new character, uh, but use other characters. I will try my best. Don't worry about it. I will promise you guys. A lot of footage for Inasa, but at the same time, I'm going to try to, you know, and, and, you know, before I repeat myself, uh, I'm going to end the video here. I'm so hyped for him to come out uh, within nine days time. We should be playing him. And I, hey, I just hope for the last thing I'm going to say here, I just hope Inasa is not the last DLC, man. This game has a lot of potential and I feel like DLC wise, it has a lot of potential and I hope they take that to heart. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.